Hey there, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging and I wanted to do a review of the Dogs Naturally Magazine certification that is um, that I took last month and passed. Here is my certificate. This is a program that was developed by Dr. Marion Smart and Dana Scott of Dogs Naturally Magazine. I took it because, you know, I wanted to learn more about pet food and I wanted to add a little more clout to my blog. I felt that having the certification would show people that I actually do a little bit more than just researching via Google. And it did. Um, I wanted to do a video today that shared um, who I thought this program was for, the pros and cons of the program, as well as share some tips on how you can pass it without a whole lot of stress because it is a lot of information. It can be overwhelming, but it can be a ton of fun too. So um, the program comes in nine modules. Within each module is probably, if I can remember, several weeks since I finished it, probably you know three to five, maybe seven little sections. And they're all brief. I think the longest one might have been 13 or 15 minutes as far as the videos. Uh, and they come with slides and Dana is sitting in a chair and she's just talking to you and explaining things to you. It is amazing how much information this woman has. And it's kind of fun to see her break things down and explain things in a way that anyone can understand, which I enjoyed it. It made it a lot more fun to, deal, to um, go through the program. So as far as who should do it, I definitely think bloggers who write about dog food, um, not just you know a dog nutrition blogger like myself, but even if you cover dog food, like you're doing reviews and stuff, I think this program would be really beneficial not only for you and your readers, but for the brands that you work with, because I think you can better express your um, thoughts and opinions on the food by backing it up with facts. Um, anyone that's in the pet industry, so pet sitters, dog walkers, pet store owners, um, groomers, anyone that's in a position where people are going to be asking them their opinion on food and ingredients, I think you would get a kick out of this program and it would benefit you as well as your customers. I did it again because I wanted to have a certificate and for bloggers out there, this is what you get. Everyone gets this, but this is what you get and it's now up on my website to show people that I passed. Um, as far as the pros and cons, I wrote them down. So here are all of the pros. The biggest one is that you can speed it up. When I was first taking it, I didn't notice that I can work with the speed and it was really slow. And I understand why, because Dana is speaking to a cross section of people who learn and absorb information in different ways. So she spoke in a very slow measure tone. Just speed it up to 1.5 and then it goes to a norm normal talking speed. And it became a lot more fun and easier to go through all of the videos. Um, one thing that I learned was that Rodrigo, um, when he was on kibble, he had so many health issues and now I understand why. And I can explain that to other people. Again, it lends a level of credibility to my blog and I appreciate that. You can retake the test three times. So although you're, you can be overwhelmed if you're not a good test taker, if you're a little worried about that, don't. You have three chances on each test, even on the final exam. And I can read an ingredients panel. And that was really exciting when I was first able to show that to someone. When it comes to the, con the cons, only one. The con that I have about the program were the slides. Not all of the slides had words on them. So it would just be a picture. And when you don't have Dana um, voice to go with it later on, because you can download all the slides to use to um, prepare for the exam or even during the exam. The ones with just pictures don't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. So um, that's really pushing you to just take notes. And the problem is, is that you can take notes, but it's so much information that it can feel confusing as to what you should focus on. And that takes us to my tips on how to best pass this exam. So definitely take notes. And what I did is I just took notes on things that I had never heard of before and that I wasn't familiar with. Don't feel bad about going back and watching the videos again and again. I mean, it's not like you're under the gun as far as you know a timeline to finish this, this um, whole certification program. So what I did was I took notes, I watched things again, and um, by the time I got to the end, everything made sense. Because one thing that I loved that Dana did was, and I guess this is another pro, was whenever she did each module, they sort of stepped onto each other. So you would cover information multiple times. She's just slowly adding it with each section. So by the time you got to the ninth module, 
you put everything together multiple times and it makes a whole lot of sense to you. Um, take the time to practice. So go to the pet store, hang out with your friends and show them, you know, about like a bag of dog treats or a bag of dog food and show them that, you know, whether or not this bag is a good food, a bad food and why. And the more you do that, the more all of this information is going to soak into you and the more it'll make sense. Don't rush through it. Take your time, do what you need to do. And once again, you know, have fun. So I don't know if I showed this picture yet, but have a ton of fun because it is really cool when you get to the end and you realize that, hey, I really understand this stuff. This isn't like a program that's sort of a fluff or, you know, something to make ourselves feel better. You do walk away with a ton of information that you can retain and it's really fantastic. So if you want to do this, I say go for it. You'll have a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.